Hi, I'm Yara. I'm a psychology student at the University of Twente and today I'm going to show you my day. So, let's swim! Now we're going to the Rabline to the design and research tutorial. So Julian, tell me, what's so interesting about studying psychology here? I think what's really nice is the practical side, because you usually read a lot about being a psychologist, yeah. and research and everything, but here you can really apply it. Sandra, what about you? Why did she chose this university? Uh, well, for me, the main thing was the fact that uh, everything is in English, um, and going being an international student, it was really important for me to continue uh, being able to work in this international environment. Let's go to the design and research tutorial, and afterwards we're going to ask the teacher some questions. This is my teacher Janneke and I'm curious, what do you like about teaching psychology here? Well, what I like is that students first get knowledge from specialists during lectures. And then what we do in these meetings is use that knowledge to design interventions uh, for societal issues. And what do you think is unique about psychology here? We're working in small project groups, therefore I get a lot of contact with the students and I also get to know students and the other way around. That way we not only discuss uh, what's going on in society and how we can combine that with the theory that you've heard about in lectures or that you read about in your book. And with discussing, it strengthens your vision and, and your view on how to use that knowledge. Okay, thank you, Janneke. Bye. Bye. So here we are at the VMS lab now. I'm going to uh, show you a bit around. So uh, Luke, tell me what's going on here. Hi. In general, the lab is used to connect psychology students with technology. For example, with uh, VR stuff you see here what Anna is doing, or motion capture or biological sensors. What's also really nice is, for example, what Anna is doing, which is virtual reality research for psychology. Anna, can you tell us something about that? It sounds really interesting. Yes, of course. Um, so I'm doing research about uh, the use of drones and whether we, the citizens of the public, is ready for the use of drones by the government. Maybe you would like to participate? Yeah, sure. That sounds pretty amazing. So I'm going to try it out now. So am I just looking at my hands and stuff? Or? Yeah, there's a text that explains why the drones are used. Oh, there's a drone. Whoa, it's pretty cool what you can all do with psychology, huh? We're now at the Study Association of Psychology, yeah, it's called Dimensi. There are a lot of study associations, that's one of them, and we're organizing events for the students, they're organizing books so you can give, get them a bit cheaper. And uh, now you can actually join uh, my committee meeting. Hi! Hi. Chantal, do you want to tell us uh, what it's all about here? Alexi is basically a committee that organizes guest lectures for uh, psychology students. Like last time we organized a, a meeting about sports psychology. Yeah. I also heard uh, that we had a really nice one on right-wing voting. I think that was a really interesting one. Iris, you're in the board of the Mint, right? Yes, it's really interesting and fun to organize all these kind of different activities, yeah. such as going to uh, Budapest on a trip wow. with a lot of members, or yeah. going to the TBS clinic in uh, Groningen. It gives you like really the uh, responsibility yeah. over an association and to I make it work. So guys, that was my day as a psychology student. I never, when I came here, expected that psychology is such a broad topic, that you can do so much with it. I feel like I grew so much through the study and learned so much. I should finish my cooking now, but I hope to see you soon. Oh, wait a second. I would like to show you something. If you still have any questions left, 
please contact the Study Information Center.